Okay, so guys, uh, today we are going to study. Uh, what are we studying today? Okay, so this is pure bending, which is chapter four. So if you are Samit, can you please come over here? Okay, so I have with me some guys with me uh, who will be helping us understand this question. I'll be asking them question, and you know we will we'll interchange. Hey, yes, yes, Samit, what do you want to say? Okay, so as you can see in this question, they they, they gave us uh, uh, a material and they're applying a moment over here, it's 2p Newton and the, moment, the material has a cross section of, uh, this is a cross section that they gave over here which is having two circles in the middle and we have to, uh, to, find the, uh, to find the sigma which they're asking for to find stress the question is saying sigma is equal to mx over i and the x is basically the distance from the neutral axis to the, to the, to the point A so this is my this is my x for the first part which if I look at the question I find is 30 millimeter now if you it concept wise speaking this is also the place where it has the maximum stress so if you see other question where they say that find the maximum stress you can basically go to the point A the maximum stress will be over here so once we find the x we know the x and then it's saying the question is 2000 cup newton or newton so the next thing to know is to find the i the i of this shape is uh, is a rectangle the i of the rectangle minus the i of the two circles guys can you please control yourself we're having a civilized lecture over here thank you Samit. okay so we're trying to find the i of the rectangle and as you can remember from the equation it's uh, 1 over 12 into b into h cubed which is b's base and h is height over here there's a very simple way to understand what's the b and what's the h the, the the line that crosses through the neutral axis is the h and the other line is the b so uh the b over here that's saying the question is 120 millimeter so 10 to the power. Yeah. Yes. Uh, actually, when you're bending it vertically, mm -hmm. it should be our base, right? Look at the what's happening over here. This is this is how it's bending, right? Wait, let me try to see. Let me try to put a different color. Okay. So when I'm trying to bend it over here, I'll get like this, isn't it? Yeah. So my neutral axis is like this. Okay, like I mean, uh, the left figure is this part, right? On the right, it should be on this part. Yeah, the left figure is basically this part. When I see from this this view, yeah, my eye is over so here. So if the couple is this way, mm -hmm. it should be bending this one on the top, right? Yeah, it's bending that way top. Yeah. So my cross section will be this thing, which is this cross section. The cross section is the one that I cannot see from here, from the, from this view. Which view? The right one the, the right one. That I cannot see. Oh, okay. So it's like it's been hidden. So when I go to that cross section, okay. this is my first of all I have to know what's my cross section. Once I know my cross section, then I have to find what's my B and what's my H. As you can see from before, we have told that this is my neutral axis, right? The line that crosses to the neutral axis is my H. So this is my line that crosses the neutral axis, so I'm putting this as H. And the other part is the B. Okay? So, <coughs> once I know my B and H, I can put this in the equation, which is B is 120 millimeter, which I wrote over here. Where is it? Ready? And H is uh, 60. So, uh, can you guys do the calculation? My one over twelve. Uh, one twenty ten to the power. Calculator is not. Oh, yeah, it's over here. Okay, so we have uh, one twenty ten to the power minus three. 
which is 0.12 or 1.8 it's 0.120 or 1.8 it's 0.12 or 1.8 it's 0.12 yeah so divide 1000 yeah correct divide by 1000 into 60 divide by 1000 so what's my i? 2.16 10 to the power minus 6 meter 4 so that's my i of the rectangle but what's my i of the circle? what's the, what's the formula guys? can you check the book? allow you can check the book? what is the formula for the circle? I can search in the internet let me see Come on. <coughs> Seriously, this thing is lagging now. I can. No, I didn't get a disguise search it. Okay, it says pi r four over four. So I have a circle, right? Yeah. Pi R four over four. So what's my R? My R is nineteen millimeters, so So 19 over 1000 into 2, right? It's power 4 or 4 into 2. Yeah, because I want 2 I of circle. It's 2. So I can cancel this out and write. What's my value? Quick, 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 guys. We don't have time. What is that? Pi into 19 over 1000 to the power 4 over 2. To the power 4? Yeah. 2.04. 1.02 is one. Okay, we have to multiply it with 2. Right? Yeah, 2.04. Yeah. 2. 2. 2. Now I want you to find the total i. i total. Which will be i of rectangle minus 2 i of circle. Which gives me 2.16 into 10 to the power minus 6 minus. 2.04 10 to the power minus 7. Can I have the i? That's it? Into 10 to the power minus 6. 1.955 into 10 to the power of 6. 1.955 into 10 to the power of 6. Okay. So now that I found my i, I just have to put this all in the back, back in the equation, which is. Uh, where's my equation? Okay. Sigma is equal to mx over i, which is m is 2000. What did you say x was? X was the point which you're asking for, which is A, and the distance of A from the neutral axis is 30 millimeter. Okay, so X is the distance between A, A and the center line. The, the point they're asking, which yeah. which point they're asking. So, like, for, uh, yeah. Basically, X is the distance between A and the neutral axis. Yeah, the neutral axis. So I have, uh, what do I have over here? 2000 into 30 millimeter, which is 31,000 over. I which is 
to the power minus 6. What's the value? 30.77 Make a Pascal. Can anyone verify this answer? <laughs> Wait, I think it might be in the blackboard. I'm working out of this thing. Uh, let's yeah, first check the answer. Okay, so we have found from our equation is that this is negative because the moment is clockwise. The moment is clockwise, right? Okay, so there is uh, we found something. There is part B. Uh, point B. Who is point B? Point B is uh, oh, is fifteen millimeter. No. Uh, what's the radius? Nineteen. Yeah, it's nineteen millimeter from the neutral axis. So it should be nineteen. Yeah. Yeah. Minus nineteen. Why is it minus? It's going below the neutral axis. Oh, so below the neutral axis is nineteen. Yeah. This is my calculation. So to rectify my previous thing, we would like to put that in this equation, which is says this is the, the equation is the sigma is equal to minus m y. It's actually sorry, this is y. It's m y over i. And uh, so let's uh, do part b, which is. Uh, point point B is over here, which is whose distance from the neutral axis is pretty bad diagram. Sanif? Yes. Part B. Allu? Part D. Sameet, uh, as you can see, we are recording this. Please uh, don't say these things, okay? We have to record five minutes. Okay, so part B has uh, the distance y is minus 19 millimeter. So right, we have to put the whole thing back. Just change the distance. Which is sigma is equal to m minus m y over i. So minus. Actually, it's uh, the distance from the neutral axis. So that's what the equation says. Uh, which is minus 19 over 1000 divided by what's the i? 1.96 to the minus 6. I will remain the same. Yes. Huh? Yeah, it will become positive. This one. The previous answer was negative. This this answer will be positive. Because as you can see, this is like a like if you if you look at the down part, which is this thing, like the down part is what's what's the down part having? Compression or tension? So the down part is tension, right? So tension is positive. You remember we did in the previous uh, chapters. Compression negative and down is this is like this is another way of thinking about it. Just to Inertia is 1.96. Inertia, because moment of inertia is that that cross section. It still oh, remains same. Yeah. 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 So can I can I do the calculation, please, guys? Wait. Uh, you took the whole i total, right? Yeah. This is the i total. Uh, should we take the i total or the circle one? I total. It's always i total. Inertia is always i total. Uh, yeah, i total. It's uh, you change the question. I'm losing my time. Can you please have the answer? I'll put a pause while people get the answer. So we found that the answer is 19.38 megapascal. So this uh, this actually makes sense because if, if I have this thing and it goes up, this is the new thing. So the the front will be the up will be compression. So I'm having negative over here, negative, and the down tension. So I'm having positive. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy life. Assalamu alaikum.